Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 20th. We are almost at the end of 2020. The New Year's coming up quick, and of course Christmas is coming up quick. I hope you're all having a great holiday season and uh, enjoying this time of year with friends and family. It's it's the best time of year, no question about it. Uh, I'm in on this side of the shop today. You can see I got my Christmas decorations up <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos from this side I might even start doing the live streams from this side the reason being uh, well for one it's it's more comfortable it's actually a better place for me to, to do videos but the other reason is that the part of the shop where I normally uh, do like my live streams and I do my Sunday morning videos uh, that area is probably gonna get filled up with junk from this side of the shop because I'm continuing to do my shop remodeling along this wall and I gotta put the stuff there somewhere and that's the open space right now so we'll uh, we'll see how things go you'll get used to it it's it's you you'll, you'll see it's it's gonna be the same kind of content just a different background ah let's see so uh, you know just to, to gripe a little bit I already made most of this video and the darn memory card filled up and I went in and tried to delete old scenes that you know I had recorded weeks and months ago and I hit the wrong button and I deleted everything so here we are but that's okay I think I can remember most of what I was gonna say or most of what I said so I am smoking a Romacraft Cro-Magnon um, it is not burning well I've had a lot of problems with this cigar but it tastes delicious. It's a it's a Candela wrapper. Uh, Roma Craft always does a great job with their cigars. I picked it up uh, when I when I was coming home from visiting my friend Jack last Sunday. I stopped off at Cigar International and I picked this up. And I guess I should have left it in my humidor a bit longer because the um, you can see that. Well, let me take the the band off and I can show you better. Basically, the 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The wrapper is cracking on it. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I can get this band off easily. Oh, well. Never mind. Uh, I'll just try to slide it down a bit. Yeah, you know, the wrapper is cracking, and it's not burning evenly, and it's just giving me all kinds of trouble. But, again, it tastes really good, so... I probably should have left it in my humidor a bit longer to equilibrate before I smoked it. That's okay. I've got another one. Uh... So, I'm going to get this band off because it's bothering me. This is good entertaining video, I'm sure. Watch Mike take the band off his cigar. Why do they put these things on with a, a glue that could be used to hold aircraft together? I got it off. So, this Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to do our cane rod pipes conversation with pipe smokers that we normally would do on Friday, but of course Friday is Christmas. So I scheduled it for Wednesday, and we have a special guest. We are going to be interviewing uh, old Chris Kringle himself, Santa Claus. Uh, I got in touch with Santa, and he was you know, surprisingly excited about uh, being on the show. He said you know, he's really looking forward to talking to adults about things like pipe smoking. I guess after a month of having kids sit on his lap and whisper in his ear what they want for Christmas, this will be a nice break for the for the guy. So please, if you got the time, uh, you know, hit the notification bell. It, the, it's already scheduled. Uh, set an alarm. Put it on your calendars. Do whatever you need to do. Show up on Wednesday night. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I got some prizes for you because I couldn't do a giveaway, a uh, Saturday giveaway this year. So what I've got is... Two ounces of Boswell's Christmas Cookie, a very nice aromatic blend that uh, goes well this time of year. And two ounces of Boswell's Maple Leaf. If you've ever had autumn evening, this is like autumn evening with the maple turned way down. So the tobacco comes through nicely. Uh, you still get that little maple note in the background. I, I like this a lot. So both of these are, are, are interesting aromatics. I'm also going to throw in a, a probably smaller sample because I don't have a lot of it left, but some uh, Sutliff Black Spice, which is another one of my favorite blends to smoke around this time of year. Now, of course, you're not going to get this in time for Christmas, but I'll, I'll try. I'll put it out priority, and hopefully, you'll have it before New Year, 
and you can enjoy it. And just in case you're not an aromatic smoker, I'm going to throw in a Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman, unsmoked of course. Um, so you can use this for your aromatic sampling or you can use it for other, yeah, whatever you want to do. It's, these, these are great pipes. So, uh, how are you going to win that? Well, you gotta, you got to be on the Wednesday live stream, Wednesday at 8 p.m. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm probably going to do something like put a comment in and we'll count the number and we'll do a random number generator or something like that and we'll, we'll do it after we talk with Santa. We'll figure it out. I'll explain it uh, in the first 15 minutes of the, of the show. So, we'll, we'll get it sorted by then. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is, this is my big... Uh, Christmas party essentially and I hope you'll all join me and you know it'd be nice to have a nice crowd for Santa he's uh, I don't want him to feel disappointed when he finally gets to talk to pipe smokers uh, if, if we don't have a lot of folks show up to, to, to hear the, the guy uh, one caution well not really caution this thing is going out on me now I hate relighting a cigar but one, uh, yeah, I may have to touch it up a bit. So, oh no, don't do this to me. <laughs> so I have to get a, uh, a procedure done on Wednesday. It's, it's an oral surgery thing. It's relatively minor. It probably won't impact On anything other than I will probably not be able to smoke and possibly not drink. We'll find out on Wednesday. Uh, so, yeah, life is difficult. I'll, st I'll still have fun and hopefully you'll still, uh, you know, have a pipe and a drink and, and uh, join us. So, I've got... Uh, you know, this new method that I'm using where I just work on one pipe at a time is really working out well. I'm able to focus on what I'm doing and I'm able to get other things done, so, so that's great. Uh, I'm working on a pipe right now that's really interesting. It's got a nice historical background to it. It's, uh, it's a challenging project and I am videoing that, so I think uh, you'll really enjoy this series. Uh, it's going to be a couple weeks before I can actually start posting the videos, but it's something to look forward to. I, I think you're you're going to really like this one, and uh, I'm enjoying the work. It's challenging, and uh, that's that makes me happy. And I might go into a lot more depth on stem making in this one because that's a big part of this project. So something to look forward to. I wanted to mention, relative to videos and YouTube and all that, that uh, I mentioned, I think last Wednesday, that I am on Rumble now. Rumble is an alternative YouTube-like platform. Um, I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. I mean, one is, you know, the you all know, and I don't want to get into the details, but the YouTube censorship is just crazy now. Uh, it, it just it's just ridiculous how they're how they're, they're, they're censoring things and trying to control what people watch and I, I'm not comfortable with that. The other thing that really bothers me is they have decided that they're going to monetize, they're not going to monetize, they're going to put ads on any channel they want. So if you have a hundred subscribers they can run an ad on your channel. Uh, they're going to run, they're running ads on my channel that they tell me, on videos that they tell me are not suitable for advertising. They're still putting their ads on top of it, and that that is not right. So I'm here generating income for YouTube, and and I don't agree with with what they're doing in terms of censorship. I don't agree with how they're uh, monetizing my videos and other people's videos, and then on top of that, I'm making money for them. I'm just not comfortable with it. So I think ultimately, as we've all known for a long time now. We're going to need an alternative platform. And Rumble seems to be a good place. You know, it's, it's, it's up and coming. There's... It's where a lot of um, political folk that were getting censored are going. And, and that's a part of it for sure. But there's also a lot of DIY stuff and you know, home improvement uh, 
uh, just just a lot of stuff. You know, it's 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 a lot like YouTube in the early days, and I'm enjoying it. You know, th thanks to you guys, I've got 14 followers on on Rumble now. I'm, that's very exciting for me. Uh, it's funny. It's kind of it's taking me back to what it was like when I first started on YouTube, and I you know I get a notification like, oh, you now have five followers. Wow, <laughs> five people care about what I have to say. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have, have been through that process in the in the recent uh, past with you know when you're starting new channels. It, it's exciting, and I'm I'm getting to have that excitement all over again. So please check out Rumble if you can. Uh, I'm Kane Rod Piper there. You can search for me and you know follow me, and you'll get notifications when I post videos there. Right now I'm posting sort of old stuff, so it's like classic Kane Rod Piper. <laughs> Uh, but I'm posting the most popular videos, or the ones that I think are most helpful. So right now it's my corn cob pipe modification series, which has gotten a lot of views, and I figure we'll start with that. But I'm also moving like the next one will probably be my retort video, and some of the basic pipe maintenance stuff will, will get moved over there. And in addition, as I make new video series, not not these kind of videos. But uh, things like, uh, you know, fixing pipes, that, that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to post them on Rumble the day before I post them on YouTube. Just to try to get some more folks to, to watch over there. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just have to wait 24 hours and you'll see it. You know, it's not, you're not going to notice any real difference. I'll put a post up in YouTube when it posts in, on Rumble. We'll see if YouTube lets me do that. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys will, will start to watch there. It's... Uh, it's an up-and-coming platform. It's got a good user community. I'd love to see a, uh, as as my friend Johnny Ford put it, a, an RPC, the Rumble Pipe community, <laughs> forming over there. Uh, I, I think it would be a, a good thing. But I will, I, I'm, I'm making this as a promise, as long as YouTube lets me keep doing what I'm doing here, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing here. So Rumble's going to be a mirror of, of what you're seeing here. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I, I really love these Candela wrappers there. They're just so good. I want to smoke them every day because then they would become routine. But, you know, when I get to have one, you know, every month or so, they, they just, they're such a nice treat. Ah, so today, <laughs> I, I don't remember if I talked about this already, but we got the family room prepped for Christmas yesterday. My wife does her decorating a bit late on, on the inside of the house. So we're going to probably be pulling out the tree today and getting it set up and all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, we, we go through this like two-day period of getting all these things set up, and then a week later, i got to start taking them all down again. Uh, it makes her happy. It makes me happy. You know, it, it makes the season special. And I hope that you're having a, a special holiday season, whether it be Christmas um, or whatever else you, you might do, or, you know, maybe just holiday. It doesn't matter. I hope you're just enjoying yourself this time of year. It's a special time of year to be with friends and family. And uh, that's what's really important. So guys, I don't have a lot more to talk about. Um, I, I hope you join me on, on Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Uh, to, to listen in on our chat with Santa and have a chance to ask Santa some questions. Uh, find out if you're on the naughty or nice list. Uh, ask him for that, uh, that uh, motorcycle you want or whatever. So... I hope to see you Wednesday. I will probably not do a Wednesday roadway ramble uh, this Wednesday just because that's going to be too much in one day. I won't be doing a Friday live stream because it's Christmas, but I will be back on Sunday uh, after Christmas, and uh, we'll, we'll sort of do a post-Christmas chat, and uh, that will probably be bringing us into the new year. And I got some ideas for the new year. We'll we'll talk about some of that, and we'll see how how things go. 
So folks, have a great Sunday. I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. And until we talk again, I'll look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.